Hi guys, today I'm going to be making for you all a trini black cake or fruit cake or rum cake as you may call it. So to make this, let's get started. In my bowl, I have butter. My butter is at room temperature and I'm going in with some granulated sugar. If you wanted to use brown sugar for this, you can. Next, cream the butter and sugar until it's very light and fluffy. Next, I'm going to go in with some eggless meal. Now, if you're vegan, I suggest using the egg replacer and you're going to mix that in. Next, I'm going in with some cherry essence. If you can't find cherry, just use all vanilla and also some vanilla essence or extract. Next, Go in with your browning and I'm using my homemade browning for this and you can make this as dark as you want so the amount of browning you put into the cake will give you a different color so if you wanted a light brown cake put less browning if you want it really really dark like I do put more browning scrape down the edges of your bowl to make sure everything is well incorporated and then next go in with your blended fruits now I blended this ahead of time and if you wanted to see how to soak and blend the fruits you can check one of my other fruit cake videos they are very detailed next sift in your dry ingredients fold those ingredients take your time once it's properly folded in, you're going to empty this into your buttered and greased or floured cake pan. This goes into your oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit until when you put a skewer through it, it comes out clean. Next, let's make the liquid to soak the rum cake so I'm using this sweet red wine and for you guys in the US who can't find cherry brandy this is a really good substitute here I have some Myers original dark rum and I'm going in with some creme de cassis or some currant liquor you guys put whatever liquor you have on hand or whatever liquor you like once the cake is done and you test it, make sure the skewer comes out clean, you'll know that it's finished. I'm just going to poke some holes through the cake so that that alcohol soaks into the cake properly. Next, mix and go in with the alcohol. And I'm adding all of the alcohol at once, but some people like soaking it over a period of time. So you can put as much or as little alcohol as you want or you can omit it totally. Next, once soaked in, your cake is now ready to be served. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. For those vegans out there, you can substitute the butter with oil. And as I said, substitute the eggless meal with egg replacer. And the egg replacer can be found from Regal Foods in Trinidad. You see how moist that cake is? Now I like a really, really dark cake. So as I said, you can make this the color you want by controlling the amount of browning you put in there. So I hope you all enjoyed today's recipe. If you make it, let me know down below what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.